What is an annuity? A fixed sum of money paid to someone each year. Why is the present value of an annuity so important? You need to figure out how big this bag of money needs to be at t equals zero today in order to fund the equally sized recurring payments in future years. There are multiple ways to calculate the present value of an annuity. There is the slow but easier to understand way, the fast but tougher to understand way, and the very fast and I really don't care how it's done way. In order to properly understand the present value of an annuity, start with the first method and then progress to the faster methods. You can calculate the present value of an annuity the same way you calculate any other present value. Take those future amounts of money, one by one, and translate them back to today's equivalent using the time value of money, the rate of return, or the interest rate, whichever applies. Let's set the value of each payment at $10,000. Use an interest rate of 5% and perform the calculation for four periods. Present value for each payment equals future value divided by 1 plus r to the power n. The present value of the first payment is $10,000 divided by 1.05, which is $9,524. The present value of the second payment is $10,000 divided by 1.05 to the power 2, which is the same as $10,000 divided by 1.05 times 1.05, which is $9,070. And so on for the third and fourth payment. $10,000 divided by 1.05 to the power 3, and $10,000 divided by 1.05 to the power 4. The present value of each line item keeps decreasing as we add more years to discount. If we add up the present values of those four payments, we find that the present value of this annuity is $35,460. That's the big bag of money needed today in order to fund the equally sized recurring payments of $10,000 each in future years. The formula on the right summarizes the calculation. Now this calculation method of the present value of an annuity is doable for four payments, but it is a lot of work if you extend to 10, 20, or 30 years. That's why it's good to know that there's a shortcut to the present value of the annuity calculation that can easily handle any number of periods for the recurring payments, the fast but tougher to understand way. The present value of the annuity formula takes the calculations we used previously, where we translated each individual payment to today's equivalent, and applies the mathematical logic of how to get to a sum of a geometric series. The resulting formula consists of PV for present value, P for the recurring payment of the same size, R for the interest rate per period, this can be year, month, week, or even day, and N for the number of periods, years, months, weeks, or days. The present value of an annuity equals the value of each payment times in the numerator 1 minus 1 plus r to the power minus n divided by r in the denominator. That sounds complicated at first, but starts to make a lot of sense once you fill in the parameters. In our example, the value of each payment is $10,000, the interest rate 5% per year, and number of periods 4 years. Plug those into the present value of an annuity formula, and this is what it looks like. 1.05 to the power minus 4 equals 0 0.8227. Complete the next steps of the calculation and you will get to the present value of the annuity of $35,460, which is the same amount we had before in the step-by-step -step method. Some of you might complain that the textbook you studied or the online resource you consulted had a different formula. It might state in the numerator of the equation 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power n. Raising something to the power minus n is the same as dividing by that same something to the power n. And now for the very fast and I really don't care how it's done way. Calculating the present value of an annuity in Excel. Insert the PV function into your worksheet and fill in the function arguments. Interest rate of 5% or in decimal notation 0 
number of payment periods, four, and a payment of minus $10,000 lead to a present value of the annuity of $35,460. The same outcome as in the previous two methods. The Microsoft Excel help description states that PV, one of the financial functions, calculates the present value of a loan or an investment based on the constant interest rate. So their thinking is primarily from the perspective of loans or mortgages, whereas mine is from the perspective of annuity payments as part of a pension plan. The great thing about calculating the present value of an annuity in Excel is that you can quickly run some scenarios to see the sensitivities of changing any of the input variables. If the interest rate is increased from 5% to 10%, then the present value of the annuity drops to nearly $31,700. The bag of money needed today is 11% smaller, 31.7K instead of 35.5K, in the case of doubling the interest rate, while the payments in the future stay at the same level. An increase of the interest rate is beneficial to the receivers of the future payments and costly to the payers. If you would like to increase the number of periods from 4 to 8, then the present value of the annuity increases to $64,632. A doubling of the number of periods leads to an increase in the present value of the annuity of 82%. Why is that? Wouldn't the doubling of the number of periods lead to a doubling of the present value of the annuity? Well, the additional four periods are added at the end of the payment schedule and have a good amount of time to benefit from the compounding effect of interest. The present value of the payments 5 through 8 is significantly smaller than that of payments 1 through 4. What about doubling each of the future payments from $10,000 per period to $20,000 per period? This does increase the present value of the annuity proportionally. It doubles to $70,990.